Okay, so we're in Onshape here, and we've created our first document. Okay, so if we um, if we want to go ahead and close that document, let's say we want to cl close it, right? We could go to close. Then we back on the main menu. So this is the document that I've created before. I can create a new one, right? Or I can just uh, click and and open up the document that I was working on. So let's go ahead and create a part now. Okay. And that part is going to start with a sketch. So we're going to start with a 2D sketch, and then we're going to apply a 3D feature to that 2D sketch. So go ahead and click on Sketch. Notice that we're in the sketch mode now. The sketch mode basically um, is represented by this uh, um, box right here with the green check on it or the red X. If I were to click on the red X, it would basically uh, discard the chat sketch. Um, um, but I want to make a sketch. So, so I basically click on sketch. I'm now assigning the sketch to a particular plane. I'm going to go ahead and put mine on the, the top plane here, as they say. All right, so I clicked, and now I have sketch one. Okay, and notice, let's, let's go ahead and click the red X here, and notice what happens with our top bar. So notice that the 3D tools gray out as soon as I click sketch. Once I place the sketch, notice the bar changes to be the 2D, 2D bar up here. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is notice that we have our planes here are still kind of in the way. And for me, it's kind of visually confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide those origin planes just for now. Okay. So now I have just my sketch. Now I'm going to go ahead and just make it come, uh, you know, uh, make it so I'm looking straight on at it. So I'm going to go ahead and click top. And then we have the sketch here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wheel out to zoom out. Okay, I'm going to click on the wheel and just pan slightly to kind of center my sketch. All right, now we're going to make a simple extrusion. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to do uh, just a simple sketch, then an extrusion. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, and use the, uh, the rectangle tool here. So I'm going to click, move the mouse, click again. And then I'm immediately going to dimension my, my rectangle. So let's go up to the dimensioning tool. So notice that even though I see the dimensions right here, I'm still going to apply dimensions to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the dimensioning tool. I'm going to click, move the mouse, click again. And I'm going to assign a width of six inches to my, to my uh, rectangle. Okay, so um, now we're going to go ahead and do the other uh, dimension. So we're going to click on the dimensioning tool, click, move the mouse, click again. And we're going to make that four inches. So I'm going to do four. It's defaulting to inches. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Let's say that I, um, let's say that I um, uh, want to get out of this tool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the tool again. Okay. And then to edit this, the uh, dimension, I'm going to go ahead and click, double click on the dimension. And I can go right it back in and change it. I can also right click on the dimension and uh, delete sketch entity, right? And so that's going to delete my dimension. I can also um, I can also select the dimension and then click the delete key and that will get rid of it as well. Okay, so there's my dimension and I'm going to go ahead and uh, and get out of the sketch. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go ahead and click this green arrow here. Okay, then I'm going to right click and, uh, and rotate the, uh, the rectangle back around. I'm also going to go ahead and turn back on my, uh, my, or my origin planes just so I have a kind of a better reference as to where things are. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude. So let's go ahead and click extrude. Uh, notice that we have one thing to, to, uh, to select here. So when you're using on shape, notice that we have a, um, uh, it says faces and sketch regions to extrude. So basically we're, we have one thing to select. So let's go ahead and select that. Okay, notice that uh, I've kind of flipped this around here. So we're, uh, we're kind of looking at the, kind of, excuse me, looking at it upside down. All right, so, um, so blind just means that we're, we're giving it, um, we're just giving it a, a, a height, right? Uh, so that's what we're going to do for the first time here. And we're going to make it go ahead and be uh, six inches. And enter. Or and uh, check. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll out to zoom out. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
click the scroll wheel to pan. All right, um, so there we have our initial sketch and our initial extrude. Uh, give it a try and best of luck.